There it went. Okay. okay, guys, sorry. Our internet got shut off for a few. Went down for a few. Back up, everybody. Take two. Internet went out for a little bit there. Not sure what happened. Don't have any weather, so I'm just not sure. Uh, who else was on here? Angela was on here. Okay, Dolly. Yep, not sure what happened. Okay, Nancy, good. Good, good. Hopefully most people get in there. Hi, Sandra. I was on and got kicked off, and now I'm back on. So hopefully Angela and Beth will get back on. Angela and Beth, if you get back on, say you're back on. No, it was me. Ow. Ray's went down too. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I get little shooting fibro my algae, little shock, shock sometimes. So <laughs> that was what that out was. <laughs> uh. Okay, Beth is back. We'll see if Angela gets back on. She's in North Carolina like I am. So hopefully we get the majority of everybody back on here. Okay. We got the majority back. Sorry about that. Dang internet. All right. We are back to A12. A12 is this gold. It looks like it's three bands together. And then, so that's A13. The gold one's A13. The silver one is A14. Found both of these today. A13, A14. Simple little rings. Hello, Marsha. Oh, yeah, I forgot that you had just come on. Too. Dang, Internet. Okay, guys, I have two of these. These are absolutely stunning rings. This is the wide, stretchy back. Okay, I have another gold one. Nancy just got one. I have another gold if anybody wants one. All right, Nancy, I got you down for that one. These are also gold rings, and these are stunning, guys. This is a wide back. This is absolutely gorgeous. You've got the three gold bands, this beautiful teardrop. Surrounded in crystals. Look at the facets and all of that bling. And the arch up over the top. Really, really pretty. That's what it looks like on the hand. Gold. Two of these available. A15. A15 for this ring. If you're going out and... Want to make a statement? Upgrade maybe your wedding ring a little bit. Isn't it beautiful, Dolly? But it, is so, it looks so real, doesn't it? 
all of those facets on there. Two of these available, A15. Yeah, really pretty. A15 for this one. Another set I found two of today. This is going to be B15. This is a brass ring, wide back, brass ring with topaz. Look, they look like little leaves on there. Looks like little leaves and little flower petals. Topaz and brass, two available. B15, B15. Now I moved rings around since last night, so I'm not sure that these are the same numbers. I'm gonna re-familiarize with two rings I showed last night. This one is B12. Can you see A15? Yep. Three solid bands, the stretchy back. Trying to get it to where it's not blurry. It is the tear, big teardrop. Let me see if it looks if it'll look better on my hand. Large teardrop surrounded in small crystals and the arch. Okay, Nancy. I got you down for that one. I have another one if anybody wants one. One more of those. Okay, so last night I showed you guys this. These are all wide band. They're kind of a snake style. We're calling these B12. Last night I showed you the red one. Last night I showed you the little topaz one. And then today I found a hematite one. So this one is the new one. All of the same design. This is garnet red. This is light topaz. And this is hematite. Call these all B12 and just say red, yellow, or hematite, or gray, or whatever. Okay? Those are the B12 rings. They're going to give you energy. <laughs> just kidding. Man, that was bad. Bad, bad. <laughs> all right. Okay, guys, so now these are just one ring all the rest of the way tonight. One ring each. Alrighty. So this is C11. I showed this the other nine night with the purple items. Wide back. Purple center. And then it's got lavender small lavender and small purple beads surrounding it beautiful shade of purple this is c11 c11 for this purple ring this is c12 this is a little ring this has the thinner back c12 Oh, Tanya, you finally got back. Goodness, I got kicked off. Uh, our internet went down there for a couple minutes. So I'm glad you got back on. Okay, this is C12, a small ring that you could wear on your pinky. These are all hematite stones, the darker hematite right pretty much on the edge of black little stones here and little stones on the circle that is c12 a perfect size for a pinky ring 
Now these next four rings are all going to be hematite. I put these all in a row, different shapes, different designs. Wide back on this hematite one, this is a diamond shape. It's open in between all the layers of these just a little bit, but pretty much you can't see your skin or anything through it. This is C13, all hematite stones in a diamond finish, knuckle to knuckle. This is another hematite ring. This is C14, wide back. These are just rows and rows of hematite. So you have three of them that have a center stone on them and two bands that do not. That is C14. C15 is a similar design, but it is different. Wide back. And these, um, okay, let's see. These are all in the gunmetal finish on the back, guys. So far, these three. Oh, hi, Alicia. Thanks for popping in and saying hi. I got booted off, but I'm back. Okay, Beth, you want number C14. Hematite bands. Hematite bands for Miss Beth. We're doing pretty good, Alicia. Doing pretty good. Some of us here in the group are, not me, but we have several here going through some hard times with deaths of family and friends. So keep everybody in your prayers for peace for the families that are losing loved ones. Oh, we were all needing tissues a few minute, minutes ago from all the losses. Seems like so much going on. Okay, this one, you guys, is similar to the last one, but it is a different design on these bands. On this one, this one you have a row in the middle that has the larger hematites pieces on it. This is C15. Thank you, Alicia. We were passing around the Kleenexes earlier. Ugh. Life gets crazy sometimes. All right, this hematite one, you guys, does not have the gunmetal. This has actually the silver finish. Number C16, it's a wide back ring. And these are larger hematite stones. Yay, Tasha, you made it back too after getting kicked, all of us getting kicked off because of me. These are the larger pieces of the hematite two rows of them silver finish on this one c16 c16 okay now i have two i did moonstone show this afternoon guys if you didn't see it go in there i showed all the moonstones i have um i think i I was on for like 30 minutes. So three of them are sold, but uh, I still have a few left. Okay, Dolly, 616. Silver hematite. All right, Dolly, I got you down for that one. So I showed these two moonstone rings today, and I'll show you them here. But then I found a red moonstone, too. Hey, Darla. 
think we got both Darla's on here. I think Darla Moreno came back. Okay, you guys, this is D9. Well, I'm at work, Darla. <laughs> Wide band here, silver, although my job is very fun. This is a white moonstone ring. See the white band? Ah, okay, Darla. Yeah, well, I lost signal, so had to come back on. White moonstone. See the white line? And this is just encased in that silver circle on this round ring. White Moonstone Round Ring, number D9. White Moonstone Ring with a fan design on the uh, outside of it. D10. This is wide back. Again, White Moonstone. Look at the white line going across there. And this little fan or flower design on there. with the lines engraved in it. Number D10. Now I have this red one. Um, this does not seem to have the hard... Oh, do you, Darla? This is D11. It doesn't seem to have the hard white line, but it is a moonstone, and it does change from light to dark red. Wide back, this is a moonstone. And you can see it changing, okay? See, you can see it changing from light red to dark red. It just does not have the white line in it. And it's encased in all of that beautiful silver work with all of the crystal chips. Isn't this gorgeous? D11 for the red moonstone ring. Really, really pretty. D11. It is. Now, this is a stunner, guys. This is a major knuckle-to-knuckle -knuckle stunner red ring. D12. Wide back. Wait till you see this. I'm going to put it on the middle finger. I'm not giving you guys the finger, though, okay? <laughs> Look at this, it, and it comes away from your finger again so it doesn't dig in it. Look at all of that silver work on there, all of that design, little beading, crystals at the chips at the top and the bottom, and the beautiful faceted red stone. Isn't that pretty? Now, I put it on the middle finger because it is, you know, a pretty good statement piece and whatever, but I'm going to put it on my finger, this one, so you can see. So see, this is knuckle to knuckle. It even goes above it, but I can't feel that ring touching me because their designs come up and curve out so it doesn't go into your skin. Look at that beautiful red. Number D12. D12 for that beauty. D13. If you're planning on going to Florida or any place tropical for the summer, this is a great ring. D13. Wide back. This has like a palm tree design. Engraved lines and then a black background with the three little dots and guys it's hard to see in this light this is a deep emerald stone it looks black I know to you guys but it's a deep emerald there you can kind of see the green deep emerald on that isn't that cool wear that into Florida or any place else with the palm trees or it's just fun if you're going to a luau party, that would be pretty too. D13 for this one. D13. Don't forget, tomorrow night is pearls and shiny copper 
this ring will probably be in that show because it's got pearls wide back yeah you can't tell on camera you want that d13 tasha woohoo go girl i want to see that on your hand it's really pretty d13 palm tree Got you down for that one. Okay, this is a wide back ring. This has pearls on it and glitter. Pearls and glitter. And it's kind of that club shaped. You know, like the club chairs that curve. This is a club shape on the ring. All pearls, all bling. This one is D14, D14. Hello, Princess Sean. Pearls and bling. That was D14, D15 is a cute little ring. It's a flower that's on top of a mushroom, wide back. Mushroom top here is what we're calling it. Some of the girls have seen this before. Tiny little flower there on top. And it just has a little clear or white crystal on the top of it. Cute little ring for the summer. D15. D15 for that one. Another purple one that I showed the other night. D16 wide back this is purple in the middle long elongated oval teardrop shapes around here black background and the little knobs on there princess sean if you've not been here before everything is five dollars each tonight i'm showing over a hundred rings the backs of the rings are stretchy back, fit sizes 6 to 10. Some have wide backs like this, and some have the thin ones. This one is D16. D, I mean E, <laughs> sorry, I'm confusing myself. E9 is the next one. Beautiful shade of aqua blue wide back lots of silver work and the oval goes sideways pretty little like aqua mm -hmm. color oh that silver work is so pretty on there around it sideways oval number e9 E9 for that one. E10 is a wide back. Another stunner. Fantastic piece. Bling, bling, bling with a center faceted black jewel. You have baguettes or emerald cuts. You have little chips around this. This is knuckle to knuckle. Black center stone. Number E10. E10 for that one. E11. This is another beautiful ring for going out, but this one actually has the thin back. And this has the teardrop shape and then four little crystals in the shapes on the side little silver band showing there four little crystals here and then the teardrop shape with the facets oh okay darla this one is number e11 e11 for this one 
E12 is a vine. This has a small, thin back. This has vines and little buds, and these are all little black stones on there. So you see some are kind of in leaf shapes, some are kind of in flower bud shapes, but that beaded band in between the two, number E12. E12 for that one. E13, I've had several of these. This is my last one I have, guys. Hey, Gwen. Oh, you took a little break. I hope you got back home okay. E13. This is a wide band. I hope you get some rest tonight, girl. This is really pretty. This has pink flower on it. These are the little teardrops. The little pear shapes of the pink. A bead in the middle, little beads around, and a black background. Like I say, I've had several of these, and this is the very last one I have. E13. E13 for this ring. E13. E14 is another purple one. wide back and this is kind of a cloudy purple ring pretty shade but it's that little cloudy color okay the pink one Beth okay It's been very popular. You got the last one, unless I find someone some, some of those somewhere else. It's pretty, pretty shade of pink on that one. So yes, this is kind of a cloudy purple on this, and then the black beads around. This is E14. E14. The next one's E15, wide back, almost looks like a Coco Chanel, but it's not because it's got the circles, but if your fingers are, are over it, it almost looks like a Coco Chanel symbol. See that? <laughs> One's a solid silver and one is the circle with all of the bling on it. This is E15. I'm going to show you guys some um, brand new ones I opened after this next one. The The rest of these are like a, a repeat of inventory I've had, but some of you have not seen them. Or maybe this time you'll see something you like. But I'm going to go to the new tray in a minute, okay, after this ring. This one is E16. It is a copper ring, thin back. This is really cute. It's got three little bands of bling on each side. And this is a staggered copper bead design. Three rows of them. And they're not straight up and down. Some are a little jagged uh, back and forth. They're not all straight up and down. It's a little playful little ring because of the design. So copper, copper beads, and bling. That's E16. E16 for this one. Okay, so I'm going to go out of sequential order, and I'm going to pull my last tray up to make it my second tray. Okay, because these I pulled out today, and I have a lot of gold, new gold rings in here. And they're stunning. And I have a rose gold, pick a couple of rose golds, three rose golds, three rose golds, one, two, three, four, five gold ones, and some miscellaneous in between. Okay? 
So this first one's going to be A25. We're jumping all the way up to 25. A25. This is a wide back ring. And this is so pretty. I love this design. It's delicate yet beautiful. Little crisscross bands. Okay, they go X up here. The bottom one straight across with little crystals. And then all of these little baguettes across the middle. I like how your skin shows through so it's not all solid. And it makes it not look like it's a big bulky ring. It's very elegant and very different. Isn't that pretty? Number A25. A25 for the little baguettes and the crisscross chips. It's very different, very pretty. A25 for that one. A26 is more of a statement gold ring. This is wide back. This is an artistic design. It has four gold bands that slant up and down and then a larger slanted piece in the middle. Very artistic. If you were going to an art show, a museum, the opera, um, anything like this, very, very artistic. A26. A26 for this one. And you see how these go up and then one straight across and then these go kind of down to fit all the way at the top and bottom of the ring. A26. For this artistic one. Kind of a sculptured look on that one. Okay, this has a lot of bling on this one. It is all topaz stones, and it is just stunning, this one. The back is the wide back gold ring, A27 for this one. This has the arches that goes up and down, top and bottom. All of those topaz, and again, because the skin shows through even though it's a knuckle to knuckle and a larger ring it just doesn't look like it's that bulky on your ring the elongated design also elongates your hand and your fingers this one's a27 a27 for this really stunning ring a28 is a gold one, but it's a small one. So we're going from major stunning statement ring to a little simpler one. This has a small back. It's also gold. And just two bands of the gold. Very simple design. If you wanted to stack another ring with this, that'd be great. That would look really nice. Okay, just two simple bands. A28. A29. Now here is another moonstone. Forgot about this one. Can't do that. <laughs> I forgot to show that today. Okay. Wide back. Beautiful engraving on this white moonstone. This is a wowzer ring. A29. Look at the white moonstone. Let's see if I can get close enough without it being blurry so you can see the engravings. Some of your skin throat goes shows through this, but straight on you can't really uh, tell that. White moonstone on gold. Beautiful piece, not quite up to your knuckle, 
but it is a larger scale ring. A29 for this moonstone one. A29. Okay, now that's all of the gold ones. But let me show you a rose gold one. This is cute for summer. It's all flowers. B25. This is the rose gold. It's got the wide back. And just a bunch of little daisy flowers on here. Okay, Darla, you want A29. Good choice, girl. The gold moonstone. In your pile. So look, this is the rose gold. This is a cross between copper and gold. And all those cute little daisy flowers. Or they could be something else. I just call them daisies. Rose gold. Cute little ring. Okay. This one is B25. B25. Now the B26 and the B27 are similar. But they are definitely different. I want you to see this piece. This is also... I need to see if this is gold or rose gold. Hold on. Okay, I fibbed. I have two more gold rings. Let me see this one. Okay, I have a gold one, and then I'm going to have a rose gold one next. This one is gold. I had to compare it. Thin back. This is a gold ring. Peachy. Teardrop Stone, this is B26, and then you have the two sides again with the four stones and this teardrop. This actually is the same, so this one is A26, and I have a silver one. That's just like that that I showed earlier. That's E11. Silver is E11. The gold one is B26. I need to put those together as a twinsy set. Beautiful stone on that. This one, the peach one. Beautiful stone. And when I put those back, I need to put those together because they're twinsies. They're not uh, identical twins. They're fraternal twins because they look different. <laughs> okay, so here we are. This is the, this one's going to be B27. This has the rose gold back. This is another stone like that one, but this one's a little bit deeper of a peach. Almost an orange, but it's really a deeper peach. And the sides are just twisted, braided band on both sides. And that teardrop deeper peach color. This one's B27. B27 for that one. Okay, so let me go to the top again here. Okay, we're going to go back to A30. This one, Beth, you want B27. Okay. The deep peach one. That's a pretty ring. Okay, I got you down for that one.
Okay, this is very artistic. This is a silver ring. This is going to be a 30 wide silver back in black artistic shape. Don't even know what to call this. This kind of has a um, texture on it, and it's a matte black. See, there's no shine to that. Just black, flat back. A30 for that one. This one is what I'm going to call a red clay color. Because it's, um, it's kind of tan, it's kind of orange. So it reminds me a little bit of red clay. This is A31. Thin back. Simple design. You just have the silver band that comes around here with the beads at the top and bottom. And it's a muted red clay color. Very different color. Very earthy. A31. This very small ring. Let me put it on my pinky because this would make a good pinky ring as well. A30 for that one. Then A32 is a large flower design with a very light tan center. It's got a wide back. Large flower design, knuckle to knuckle, and tiny little tan. Okay, this is number A32. A32 for that one. Don't forget tomorrow night, I keep saying it, is Pearls and Shiny Copper. Oh, you have that one, Darla? Yeah, it's a pretty ring. Okay, which row do I want to move to? I'm trying to go around to show you guys as many new ones as I can. Um, okay. This is D28. This is a really pretty rectangle, shiny black ring, wide back. This is the rectangle, and it's got the beveled edges on it for facets. And then it's surrounded in all of the little crystals, the clear crystals. This is number A28. A28 for this one. A little bit of black bling, and it's got that zero space on the sides. D28. This is a pretty little pearl ring. Probably show it again tomorrow night. B30 for this. Silver ring. It has the wide back. Wide band that comes up to the side. And then a circle with a tiny little white pearl in the middle. Some more of a normal sized ring. All of that little silver work around there and that beautiful little oval pearl. Very dainty, very elegant looking because it's smaller scale. And then you've got three blings here on each side. before the, the band on the side. <clears throat> okay, that is B30. B30. I have a brass ring that has a beautiful stone in the middle of it. I always call this, this gem a um, <clears throat> kind of a brass gem, too. This is brass back.
and then you have like the brass shiny stone isn't that pretty that's definitely a shiner and then all of those little tiny stones around it now they could be clear or they could be topaz it's hard to tell they show up topaz but that might also be because this is on a brass setting but they look topaz but the gem in the middle looks brass or shiny gold that rings number c25 c25 on that one i have a gunmetal filigree ring this is c32 c32 wide back all of this filigree work little designs all over it looks like iron work piece it goes clear around each side this one is c32 c32 for that one now this is a different design c28 you want that one? Sorry, I got a message again from somebody that wants something, so hang on. Indigo moonstone necklace. All right, that was somebody that won something for my moonstone show today. Okay, Gwen, I got you that gunmetal ring. C32. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, hi, Gina. Oh, my goodness, girl. You are late. About halfway done with the rings. You'll have to tell me what you want to see when I'm done. But I'm still going. Still lots to show. And I just found another twinsy pair. It is so funny. I've got these three trays and I put the rings in. And then I'm going down them and I'm like, oh, wait, those two match. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is a silver one. It's got a skinny back on it. This is a small purple stone. Very delicate ring. The design is that the band at the top and bottom don't go clear across. Okay, so the top and bottom band are open. The middle one has tiny little purple gems and then you've got that tiny little diamond that yes it's hard to see the purple but it's purple those darker colors sometimes show black on screen but it's purple it's like a true purple very pretty okay this one is d26 d26 for this one and uh, Jana, I don't know if you saw where I emailed your invoice today. I emailed you your invoice. Okay. Now I have two of these, guys. I just figured I had two of these. This is D30. Two of these available. Bling ring wide back. Okay, Gina, I want to make sure you got it. 
because when I first send somebody their first uh, invoice on an email, I just want to make sure that I don't mistype it and you don't get it. Okay, these are all of the little bling pieces on here. All silver, all white. And it's full all the way around. There's no open on the sides. That is just a lot of clear white chips on this one. D30. I have two of these available. Let me go back to another tray, the one I was on. I'm going to pick and choose some of these. I have a couple of flower rings next. This is F11. This is a skinny or thinner back. Flower design in the middle. The middle stone. Oh, darling, keep going back and forward. The flower in the middle has the black center stone, and then you've got four more around the top and bottom and both the sides. D, 11, and 12, Darla. Okay, I'll get those for you in a sec. So this one is number F11 with the little flower. F11. Darla, let me get you D, 11, and 12. Those are both beautiful red rings. The red moonstone. The second one is not a moonstone, Darla. D11, this is a red moonstone. Light and dark red. Okay. D12, just because I want you to know exactly, is a red gem. It's not a moonstone. It's just a red faceted gem. Not a moonstone. So do you still want this one, the D12? Okay, just wanted to let you know. All right. I have another flower ring. This is a dainty little flower in there. This is, um, this is brass, wide brass. And this is just all, it's polished brass. It's not the doll finish like you see on the back. This is polished brass. You have a little bit of shine to it. Pretty little, this looks like a Celtic design. And that little dainty flower in the middle. F14. F14. For this one. I have a little copper ring. This is pretty too. I might show you something put together with this. Let me see where that other one is. Okay. Gwen, you want F14. Okay. Brass flower, put that over here with your gunmetal one, girl. You got it. All right. This is F15, small copper, thin copper band. This has little bling pieces on it. 
They also look like coppery shines. You've got the little copper crystals on the ends, and then you've got larger round ones in the middle for just a random little design. They almost uh, they almost look like a deeper um, topaz, but when it's on copper, it looks like it's copper jewels. This is prettier than it really shows. F15 for this one. F15. Pretty copper. Smaller back. Now I've had a few of these, and this is also my last one on here. A lot of these things I can't get anymore because they're so vintage, can't find them. This is F13. This is a wide brass back. Again, the front is polished brass. This looks like a tall grass ring. If you were going to the zoo, if you wear animal print, this would go great with it. It just looks like the tall grasses that are growing randomly. It's a pretty design. Some of them intertwine. Some of them go over top of each other. A little bit darker ones and lighter ones. Very pretty ring. F13 for this one. F13. Larger brass one. Okay, now I have another moonstone ring that I didn't show today at my show. Boy, I wasn't doing very good getting my stuff out, was I? Okay, this is going to be A17. Let me move this tray over here. A17. I'm going to be going all over the place with numbers and uh, letters now, guys. Not in a row. I'm going to hand pick some of these out. Okay, this is a silver wider back. These are four smaller white moonstones and a larger one. Okay, so these are the four smaller white moonstones and the larger there. They're just on plain, simple bands. They move, they're white, they're gray, depending on how the light hits them. Okay, A17 for that one. Uh, another gunmetal ring here, number A24. This is the larger, wider back. Again, it has um, a flower or like a stellar design in. Now, this is what they call a saddleback ring. See how it dips down like the saddle? This does help not get into your, dig into your finger. This is a saddleback ring because it is a knuckle to knuckle one. Again, here's all the pretty design. That little flower in the morning in the middle, but it has this little piece on it, almost like maybe it's a star, but it more looks like a flower to me. And see how it goes up on your finger like this. So it's very, very comfortable. A24. A24 for that one. A23 is a green one for silver. It's silver, the wide back. Three green stones, think St. Patrick's Day. Three silver bands on the side and three green stones. A23 for that one. I have a, another bling ring. This is B21. B21 for this one. Wide back. Oval bling stone. 
and all of those blings around it. Facets on that center stone so it shines really pretty. This is B21. B is in boy 21. Then another brass ring with an artistic design, B17. Brass on the back, shiny brass on the front. Knuckle to knuckle on this one. And all of that bling that looks like topaz, but they're like shiny copper little gems. B17. B17 on that one. I have another brass one. Little bit shiny on the front, but it's pretty much a dull brass, wide, and another knuckle to knuckle with this design on it. C24. C24 for this one. Okay, another gunmetal one, D17. That's the wide back. Another filigree design. These are all different, guys. These are not repeats. Okay, this is D17 with all of that pretty scroll work. D17. Now I have a large white flower ring here. This is F21, silver wide back. It is silver white and a little bit of black design in here. Knuckle to knuckle, four pretty little flowers, white, and then the black ones have some lines in there. Three hammered metal bands up and down and in the middle on the sides. Very cute for summer. F21. F21 for this one. This is an, a pretty orange ring. It's an orange jewel. I don't see this very often. The orange jewel, E21. Beth, you want F21, okay? Four white flowers. Good, that'll be fun to wear this summer. I think that's a cute, fun little ring. Thank you, Beth. So this is a silver thin back. This is so pretty, this orange shade. It's got a little crystal on each side. Oh, this is a solid silver band and one up at the top that curves with little chips. Look at the pretty color on that. That jewel, that orange jewel and Just hang on. I'm going to pick this necklace that I showed the other night. This was such a different color. Uh, this The necklace is more goldish. That's more goldish. But that ring, I think, would go great with that necklace. So if you liked this necklace the other night, look at this ring with it. Very, very close. So pretty together. So this ring, what did I say it was? 
E21. Yeah, E21 on this ring. You can tell me if you'd like that necklace to go with it, if you want that ring. E21. This is another brass ring. Now, I think somebody's going to get this. Yeah, it does. It looks good together. This is brass one. This is the brass on the back. And this is so much work on this. Wow. Two tiny little flowers, some leaves, and then this big flower in the middle. Look at this piece of artwork. The large flower. Two small flowers, the little leaf in between. And it's just uh, it's just brass in the middle of the flower, too. Very, very artistic. Look at all of that. So pretty. It's pretty with not any color or bling. I also like the way that this arches up at the top and arches down at the bottom. Very different. F24 for that one. F24. Yeah, Beth, isn't that pretty? And, you know, if you haven't worn brass before, you can wear this with other metals. You don't have to always match. I wear silver and gold together all the time. My wedding band is silver and gold. And actually, it has a little bit of black gold in it, too. So... Oh, hi, Angela. Oh, gosh, I didn't know you weren't there. <laughs> so isn't this pretty? Anybody want this very, very different looking one? That would even be pretty for summer because of all the flowers, even though it's a brass kind of darker ring. That one's F24. I have a pretty blue little ring. Dolly, you still on? This is a thin back. This looks like a dolly ring to me, but Jana, if you're still on, you like blue as well. I know. This has little filigree design on each side and a pretty little blue gemstone. Now, it looks like it should be a moonstone, but it's not. There's no white lines, but it looks like that texture, if you know what I mean. Okay, this is F18 for this pretty little blue ring. Solid bands and a little filigree design on each side. F18 for this one. All right, here is a, now this is silver. I'm trying to see what all the designs are. It's just different scroll work and the top and bottom gems. This is E19. E19 for this one. And just pretty little silver. Scroll work, it doesn't really, you, it's an abstract design of scroll work. Top and bottom, crystal chips. This one is E19. E19. Then I have another fun summer ring. This is just a silver Jana, see, I knew you or Dolly would get that. <laughs> okay, that's F18. Blue ring. All right. Got you a stash started, Jana. <laughs> okay, wide silver back. All silver flower statement ring. Isn't this cute? Just thank you, Jana. Five flower petals there and the little dot in the middle. Just a plain, simple flower ring. But it's so cute. Love this one. So cute. 
Okay, this one's going to be E24. E24 on this one. Okay, this is a, oh my goodness. Hey, Ray, are you in there? Let me have Ray check this under the light. I think it's a deep orange, but it might be a red. I'm going to have him check under the light. Did you check the hockey games for? I have not. This looks like hematite. No, it looks like it's got orange or red. But no, I not. see the reflection like it's hematite. Okay, thank you. Hmm. <laughs> That didn't help you very much. Okay, no, it didn't. <laughs> what help are you? Hello, Courtney. Welcome. This is D23 wide back silver ring. Okay, this is four bling bands put on this with the large bling gem and a little crown on top. Look at all of that. Bling, bling, large stone, and a little crown on top. D23. D23. There go the kitty and the dog playing, you guys, if you hear them. No harm is being done in the making of their playing. <laughs> The cat whines, and then she whines when the dog stops, and then she paws at her to get her to play some more. That is so funny. Oh, goodness. All right, guys, this is the one that I can't really... I'm having a hard time with this one. This is D24. This is a wide back silver... This has little chips. Ray thinks this is a hematite. I'm thinking there's some color showing on it. Let's see what the camera says. The little beads do look like they're hematite. But let's see. <laughs> yeah, she's due to get her to get her claws trimmed. Okay, so it does look hematite in the camera. So these are little Lines of the little crystals, and then the larger one. <laughs> D24 for this one. D24 for this one. And then, I do not think I showed this one. If I did repeat myself, I'm so sorry, but I don't think I did. Yeah, it looks like it is. This is D19. I don't think I showed this one. If I do, apologize I, ahead of time. I'm getting kind of mixed up here with showing so many. This is brass. Knuckle to knuckle. You want the crown bling ring. Okay. The D23. Let me write D23 down for Darla, and I'll get it here in a minute. This is a huge knuckle-to-knuckle -knuckle brass ring, but it's not heavy. Look at all of the scroll work, all of that design on this one, huh? I think, Darla H., don't you have this one? Yeah, it does look tribal. Okay, this one is number D19. D19. Let me get that ring for you, Darla. Okay, and then I have I have two more in this case, maybe three I'm going to show you guys. This is shiny copper. Oh, okay, darling. Shiny copper, guys. If you don't have shiny copper, it's a cross between gold and copper. 
beautiful finish if you have not seen this. Shiny copper is one of my favorites. This is a knuckle to knuckle ring again. Look at all of those designs and scrolls. Beautiful, just beautiful ring. It has some um, gemstone chips on just about everything but the middle. And the middle has two hearts on the sides that go in. These two are hearts, but they're elongated. But there's a heart here and a heart there. Oh, thank goodness we got a dog now that doesn't have to be trimmed on her her hair. So isn't this pretty, guys? Ro this is shiny copper. Shiny copper A21. This one is rose gold. Wide back. Again, artistic scroll work. That's all I can say. I think I said that this was B23, did I? Or did I say it's C22? C22. Here is the rose gold. There's the back. The sides are just the bands. And look at this gorgeous scroll design. I have one of these. I love it. So artistic. So different. Oh, do you, Janet? Good. Well, this is definitely a gorgeous one. C22. C22 for this one. Dolly, you want this one, okay? Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, and it's definitely backwards in the in the camera two okay I think one more from this tray I'll finish off the other tray okay this is a silver ring with a small back this has yellow stones it has white chip bling stones. Beautiful, smaller scale, delicate, elegant yellow ring. You don't find a lot of the yellow gems. Okay, it's got the larger teardrop and then like some little three of the yellow ones on one side and two on the other that almost looks like they're leaves. And then this top one has the little white crystals on it. And then the braided one around the center teardrop. This is C19. C19 for this one. I want to make sure and see here what I have. Four to three in the third period. There's so many guys. Just hold on a second. I just want to double check. Okay, so I've left just a few in here. I'm going to show you a couple of... Um, I'll show you at least one black one. I'll show you two black ones. This one is C18. It has a thin back. And this is just a simple teardrop encased in some silver. Yes, Sandra, for sure. 
Thank you for coming, hon. Appreciate your time. So this is just a, this is a matte finish ring. Thanks, Sandra, for everybody praying. Matte finish on this one. I don't remember where I pulled this out. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. <laughs> I usually pay attention to that. Um, okay, and then I have a larger, two larger black ones. Let me make sure. Here's one. This is A19, a wider back. These are three black stones on a lot of silver work on here. Teardrop, oval, and then the smaller oval on that. That's very cool. This is A19. A19. I have another design. This is C27. C27 wide silver back. And this is a knuckle to knuckle design. Teardrop, small sideways oval, and then kind of like a, another teardrop that's smaller with beads around it. Okay, C27 for this one. I do have another black bling one. This is C29, silver back, black center stone. It's a polished black stone, and then bling, 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 bling. I think I said this is C29. C29. guys too too funny i have another bling black this is a teardrop shape f12 wide back teardrop shape gem with facets for the bling little crystal chips for the bling i love that it's the same shape on that F12, F12 for that one. And some of these I'll be showing in the pearls tomorrow, pearls and shiny copper tomorrow. I'm gonna to show you guys two more small, smaller rings. The rest of them are a lot of repeats, but I'll take pictures and post them tomorrow. These are two smaller ones. So this is F19. This is gold. Small back. Thin back. Smaller ring. These are sideways hematite stones. Oh, you've got the prayers, Sandra, for sure. Gold ring and slanted hematite. You've got our prayers. Everybody tonight has our prayers for everything they're going through. We're a family in here, so your family will send you prayers for her, Sandra. Okay, that was F19. This one's E22, again a smaller ring. 
This is a gunmetal thin back. Gunmetal thin back. And these are kind of slanted stones and a band at the bottom here. E22. All right. So, is there anything that anybody wants to see again if you wrote down any numbers or if you came on late that you are looking for? Uh, don't forget, I have this really pretty blue ring with that kind of aqua stone and all of that silver work. Why it shows better in my hand, I don't know why. Okay, have that pretty aqua blue. That's E9. And I had, uh, let me find this again. Here's ring E21. This was the pretty orange jewel that then I found the necklace, a necklace that would go with this. E21 on the ring, and then tell me if you want the necklace as well. Each one is $5. And anything else you want, guys want to look at again, or tell me if you're looking for something in particular. Pretty little pearl ring with all the silver work on the back. Hello, Peggy. We are just ending the show here. Okay, this one is B30, but you can always watch the replay, and I post pictures the next day. Okay, guys, I have moonstones. I have pinks. I have reds. I have blacks. I have hot pinks. I have a champagne pearl. Here's the champagne pearl ring. Beautiful. Champagne colored. Circles with the bling. The silver band. That's A11. This one, Dolly, is a champagne color. Champagne color pearl, you know, the color uh, champagne, which is like a weakened, weakened uh, iced tea color, the color of champagne. It's a light tan. It's a tan gold. Tan gold, Dolly. It has the little crystals that go around it and then the silver that comes around. This is A11. Small band silver dainty rings. I do have some I can pick out here and show you. Jana? I have this one that's a small band silver. It has a little pink pearl that goes sideways. All of the bling on those bands and a little crown on the top. Very light pink. Looks white on camera, but it's very light pink. Okay, that's C9. This one is a thin back little circle with the bands on the side, and this is hematite, a hematite circle, small band. That one is E13. This is a pretty copper one, thin back. It has copper crystals on it, small ones on the sides, and then all of these different ones 
on the front F15 for this copper one. I actually did not show this one tonight. I've sold a lot of these and this one is the last one I have. Okay, it's got the the thin back and this kind of looks like a little butterfly or lightning bug to me. This is really cute. It's got the round little pearl just on one end and then it's got these that look like leaves or wings and it just kind of reminds me of of a little butterfly or maybe an angel a firefly that's flying through the air that's F17 for this one I showed this one that's gold with hematite slanted baguettes that's gold and that's uh, F19 this is a clear one this is E22 just has the clear crystals on it E22 that's two boxes. So let me see what else I have up here. I have a gold ring that is just two simple two gold bands across. That's got the skinny back. That's A29. This is A31 thin back. It's like a dull reddish clay more orangey than red plain band this one's a no sorry yeah a 31 thin back silver bling ring this is b32 that one's pretty. Got some negative space in there. Larger bling on the top, smaller bling on the bottom. You could wear this with a solitaire. Look great like a jacket on the ring. Okay, that's B32. Uh, okay, this is another copper one, D29. I think this is the last one of thin backs. Oh, okay. Let me make sure. The B32, okay. I'll double check here in a minute, but I think this is my last small, small back. This is a brass and it has two pieces that go up and two pieces that go down with the four bling pieces on it. Two bands up, two bands down, bling. Yeah, she had a question, I think, about that champagne ring that I showed her. Dolly, is that, was that it? You wanted to see that champagne ring or asked a question? Maybe you didn't understand what cham champagne color meant. That's what I, I thought she wanted. Dolly, did you have a question? Are you still on? Do you have a question about that ring or another one? F18. Okay, girl.
Dolly, if it was this one, Jana got this one. F18 was this blue one. Jana claimed that one. Was that the one you wanted to see? I still have this other, oh, okay. I just have this uh, this other pretty blue one, this little aqua one, E29. I have that blue one left, and I think that's all the blue I have. Blue goes pretty quick. But I do have some stuff I'll be showing here the next few nights. Tomorrow night's pearls and shiny copper. Friday, Sunday will be a lot of new items that I have got in. Okay. Anybody else want to see anything? I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything that has the smaller back for you, Jana. I think that's it. Oh, wait. Here's one more, Jana. This is a beautiful rose gold. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so, Jana, this is a rose gold ring. This is gorgeous. This has the teardrop light peach stone on each side. It has four little blings, and this teardrop is beautiful. It's stunning. This has got the smaller back, and, yeah, it's a light it is a light peach colored stone on this. Rose gold for this one. Forgot about that one. Yeah, this one's very, very pretty. This is B26, Jana. Has the facets showing all that. Very light peach. It's like a peachy orange, I should say. Because it's not all peach and it's not all orange. Okay, anybody else want to see anything? Yeah, this one is pretty. Anybody else have a request? Have anything. Oh, let me show you guys this. Uh, this is my multicolored heart ring that I got in, and I can still get these. It's the wide silver, all these pretty pink, orange, purple, white, yellow hearts. Isn't that beautiful? And all the little bling hearts in between. I love this colorful ring. I'm so happy with it. And I sold, got three of these and sold them. I can still get them. It has not it has not run out once. The heart one, you guys, is this what you're saying? Tanya and Angela heart ring. Okay. Heart bouquet, that's right. Okay, heart bouquet ring. I can get those in, guys. Hopefully they won't run out. Sometimes I'll place my order, and even after I've placed my order, the items will run out. will tell you I will do my darndest on that. Okay? Yeah, I love it. It's fun. It's colorful. It's pretty. All right. Anybody else? Anything else? Anything else? I do have this beautiful gold ring left. The crisscrossed bling and the large baguette it's going slanted ring and the line. That's A25.
And the other rose gold one ring that I have left wide back is all these cute little daisies, little flowers on this ring. That's also rose gold. That one is B25. All right. Well, if you guys are all done, unless somebody wants to see something. Now, last night I did show this red ring. I have this in red. I have this in black. I have this in hot pink. Okay, Jana. Jana, I'll get you that. Jana, do you go by Jana or do you go by Jana Sue? What do you like to be called? Okay, hot pink, black, and red of this whole design. B9, if anybody wants any of those. What do you like to be called? I've just been saying Jana, but maybe you go by Jana Sue. I... Jana's fine? Okay. All right, let me get that B25. B25, rose gold flowers. This one, Darla, the rose gold flowers. The gold baguette ring. This one, Darla. This open one. Okay, A25. All right, I got you that one. All right, anybody else have any other numbers or any colors, any finishes, anything they want to see? I will post pictures. And you can watch the replay. All right. Thanks, you guys, for joining me tonight. I really appreciate your time and your support, as always. Don't forget, tomorrow night is silver and shiny copper. And I hope to see you then. Yep, we're all going to bed. Good night, everybody. Prayers for everybody. Yes, and Darla, get some rest. Thanks again, everybody. I hope to see you tomorrow night. Bye.